morning, um, good day. My name is Adam Vazraga. Uh, today, I want to explain how the Flutter Algorand um, blockchain solution works for the voting implementation. Now, basically, to access this code, just go to my GitHub um, repository and download it on your local home. Either you can download a zip or just clone it via command line or via SSH. So, um, going back to the code, um, when you um, the entry point to every Flutter project is the main.dat file. So, clicking on the lib folder, the main.dat file, um, you'll see um, the main function. Now, if you um, since we are also using um, Firebase for um, the user authentication and like that's handling all the most of the heavy lifting, so we have to initialize Firebase now. So, um, the file handling the initialization of Firebase based on the latest um, policy of Firebase is constant. Um, constant Firebase or that file contains the initialization variables for um, the Firebase app, the Firestore, and the authentication class. So going back to the main or that file, um, we are initializing some um, controllers that is handling the various functionalities within the app. The first one is the user controller which handles the system, the user state, the vote which handles the vote state, the app which handles the app state, and the algorithm controller which handles the algorithm functionalities. Now, I'm taking a quick look at the algorithm controller. Yeah. Um, you'll see um, the various instances I've made um, for algorithm functionalities. The first one, apart from the variables here, are the um, um, is the algorand create algorand wallet. Now, the create algorand wallet um, contains a list of um, calls being made to the um, algorand SDK that's being implemented within this app. Um, so, to actually see the version, go to on the prospect.yaml file. You see the algorand that's all. Now, at this point in time, um, this version is the version being used and probably later in the future might have increased on, on like updated the version so at this point in time this version works for me so going back to the um, algorand controller class so i'm definitely using get text to handle the state management of the algorand sdk within the application now after um calling this function um, create the algorand account, get the public address, get the private keys, and also the seed phrase for which contains a list of strings. Now, basically, the seed phrase, um, like to get the seed phrase, this like the private 32 byte key into like um 25 word mnemonics. The generated mnemonics include a check checksum. Each word in checksum represents 11 bits of data, and the last 11 bits are reversed for the checksum now after getting the seed phrase and all the data it is being stored in the local database for easy retrieval so um now going back to the app controller to manage the state of the app during login logout event issues then the user the state of the user loading user data to database and sorts and the vote functionality um, go, um is being implemented in the uh, um the vote controller now, taking a look at the application, uh, when you open it at first, you see the introduction screen. Swiping from left to right um, moves it out like inward the app. So, clicking on get started, you see the welcome screen, allow vote. So, I um, kind of don't remember my credentials, so I'll basically just sign up again. So, signing up, let me just type in random names. Um, After inputting all this, we'll click on sign up. 
explain um it gives it brings up this point to create either create a wallet or import an existing wallet now i don't have my wallet credential and neither my bit phrases so i'll click on create wallet now once i click on this um it calls the advanced controller file and the create wallet function is called so after the create wallet function is called um all of the functionalities the, the parameter like sequence of statements are being called into then into creating an account which returns the account of the user so now on clicking this uh, wallet yeah so after clicking this um it goes to the home screen directly and the user will be able to interact with the app directly now after um, clicking on the sidebar, you can actually access the Algo Wallet endpoint, the web endpoint, and also the Testnet Explorer. Now, accessing the um, Algo Wallet endpoint as kind of like um, an inbuilt web view um, within the application to make it more flexible. So, um, that. So um, taking it back and actually checking the Testnet Explorer, you can see all of the latest blogs and um, they could, um, whatever is happening on Algorand blockchain. So it, it gives the user more flexibility within the app. So going um, to actually walk through um, the screens and that. Um, this intro and uh, intro handles the uh, onboarding. Then, the actually, the services. Now, for Algorand to work, we need to use Pure Stake. After using Pure Stake, we need to initialize the um, voting system. So if you were to look at services in the service folder, you'll see the way um, the voting is being implemented with Firestore and Firebase server I mean. So um, that. So thank you for watching the video and so actually and once again so actually access the code and that you can upload go to my repository and download and all after doing that all you have to do is just open your terminal and enter Twitter. there's no need to do any kind of setup nothing just download the code and enter Twitter. i already have it running on my local hand here so that's why i'm able to access it directly so um thank you